This is a flamboyant cuttlefish. Look at the color changes on the back of this animal. And it belongs to a group called the cephalopods, like this octopus. So cephalopods are mollusks, but the highly advanced mollusk. So this octopus here uses a discarded dead clamshell as armor. And here we have the wonderpus. So amazing, amazing animals. Now stick with me on my thoughts for a second. So human civilization, if you count these stone tools, has started more than a million years ago. And then you can probably argue that it culminated with a moon landing. Uh, here you have a picture of Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Now, the thing is that animals have existed on this planet for more than half a billion years. And so we can ask, we can speculate, did a previous species come up with at least stone tools or a civilization? Now there is a speculative paper, and I will get into more details in a second, whether we could have even detected such a previous technological civilization. And I also wrote a blog post about this. And so what is that paper and what is my, pay, my take on the question? Now I'm showing you this really cool, I think, footage of cephalopods while I'm telling you my thoughts. So these are some squid I filmed in some Mokita of Negros Island. It's actually really difficult to uh, film squid because they're very fast. Now there is an original paper from 2019 by two geologists, uh, Schmidt and Frank, and they are posing this question, you know, the a Silurian civilization could that have happened and uh, could we have detected it? Now it's important to point out that these guys do not suggest that we have an ancient civilization actually ever happening but as geologists they're asking the question if it would have happened such a civilization let's say in the Silurian or you know and any other time between now and you know are probably the Ordovician, uh, would we even be able to de detect that? So would there be a signature in the geological record? You know, would the, the rocks, would the isotopes be so diff different uh, that we can actually pick up a signal of a civilization which might have happened, you know, 200, 300, 400 million years ago? And it's tricky. So, you know, radioisotopes from nuclear power plants might be the best uh, bets we would have. But, you know, a lot of the things which we cherish so much in human civilization would have disappeared. And, you know, this is a, a good paper. And there is a lot of thought which went into that. So, you know, this is generally known as the Silurian hypothesis. So... I uh, recently then wrote a blog post and I'm linking to it, so both in the video here as well as in the description, check it out if you want to have more details on the topic. Uh, what if that actually happened? So I'm going you know, half a step uh, further than these two guys and what is, what is the likelihood that we actually have animals other than humans, which came up with a, a technological civilization. And you, you have probably guessed it by now, you know, by looking at all of this footage. My hypothesis is that, you know, the best guess would have been early cephalopods. And, you know, humans are primates, and primates have only existed for about 50 million years. And, you know, you can, you can probably argue that humans or hominids are, have... Uh, existed for maybe six million years, uh, modern humans for less than a million years. And, you know, so we would not be a good candidate for this, right? So it's, we can completely exclude that there would be a ancient civilization, let's say in the Silurian, uh, involving humans. But then, you know, cephalopods are very large-brained, very clever animals. You know, there's a high degree of sensory motor integration. You can see that here, how these squid are hunting. And, you know, there is a, they're large brains and they have these arms which are very coordinated. So the question is, would they have been able to establish a civilization? Now, just like these two geologists, I, I don't actually think so. 
I, I don't think that this happens. Uh, but, you know, this is one of these hypotheses which are, they're probably false, but they're a lot of fun to entertain. And so in the blog post I'm writing about this conference I went to as a young graduate student where there was, where there was an award for the best hypothesis most likely to be false. And, you know, this was at a time, and this is really not that long ago, uh, about 20 years, that, you know, there was probably less seriousness and careerism in science. So then they, they had these awards, right? So uh, I think the Silurian hypothesis, if you take it literally, that there was actually a civilization of animals, which was technologically, uh, that uh, existed a long, long time ago, is such a, a hypothesis. It's uh, best hypothesis, most likely to be false. And uh, nevertheless, if we go into detail, there is a time essentially be after the Triassic, a beginning of the Triassic, uh, 250 million years ago, and before the beginning of the Cretaceous, when marine fishes really came into their own. You can probably argue that. And so in, in that, uh, you know, couple of dozens of million years, cephalopods were probably uh, dominating marine ecosystems much more than now. There's some speculation here too, but I, you know, I think they, they probably came to their own, uh, these surreal modern cephalopods, you know, this octopi and squid, they came to their own before fishes did so. And then at that point, you know, they, they would have had a very good uh, starting position, you know, good initial uh, conditions for starting their own civilization. Now, you know, did they build rockets to fly to the moon? We probably would still see stuff on the moon because stuff, uh, you know, uh, deteriorates much more slowly on the moon than here. And that's not the case. And I think this, for a couple of other reasons, like it's much harder to do chemistry underwater, for instance, this is unlikely. But something like a... Neolithic civilization that the cephalopods would, uh, they would probably farm other mollusks, they would farm snails and clams to eat, you know, would they, would they be able to use stone tools? So we have seen this octopus before use of that shell, uh, which it found in its environment as a tool, as armor. So, you know, primitive tool use you already have in these cephalopods. So would that have uh, taken another step up? Again, I don't think there's evidence for that, but I think it's something that cannot be absolutely excluded, and it's just too beautiful a thought to me as a you know lifelong reader of science fiction to completely throw out of the window. So I hope you enjoyed these uh, speculations, and that's what they are. Uh, there is also 25 Future Dives, if you want to look into that. Uh, there's a book I wrote with James Reimer, and also link is in the description. And this is about what the future of the oceans will, will look like with you know human influence, with uh, all the environmental problems which are happening these days. What happens in, in 100 years if these problems escalate? So check it out and check back soon.